camera. Okay. You'll we'll see people on the screen, but you can just look into the camera. Okay. That's great. All right, Doug, rock and roll, buddy. I'm ready. Okay, well, we will go ahead and get started. Tyler Cervantes, thanks for joining us for a few minutes, making your pro debut this week. Just uh, a couple of opening thoughts on uh, being here at the AT&T Byron Nelson this week. Yeah, I'm just extremely thankful to be here. Um, it's always been a dream to be a professional golfer, um, and I'm making my professional debut at a PGA Tour event, so I'm just glad to be here, and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity and what's to come. Just some uh, thoughts on if you had a chance to get out, um, any experience with the course, just how it might be, how you anticipate it might be setting up for your game this week. Yeah, so I went out um, yesterday for nine holes. Uh, just had gotten in from the Walker Cup, so it's it was raining, so it was pretty soft and um, pretty tough conditions. But it it seems like a really good layout, kind of straightforward, and gotta gotta hit your irons good because it's relatively open off the tee and it's long. So if you hit the fairways, you're gonna have to hit it close with the mid to long iron. So it's 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 a good test, and I'm looking forward to it. And taking you back to the Walker Cup last week, how you? Feeling now, I know there were some uh, some issues there for a little bit. To see you're you're in good shape now. Yeah, it's uh, it was a struggle for three or four days. I spent a couple days um, in and out of a hospital. Uh, lost 20 pounds from the illness, wow. so it's it. I'm still kind of recovering from it, but I feel good. Um, I'm starting to starting to get my appetite back, keep food down, which is kind of. You know, you don't really think that that would ever be an issue, but it was it was a tough few days for sure. Okay, all right. Well, we will. Uh, I've got a couple questions for you. We'll start with Adam Shupak with Golf Week. Adam, go ahead. Yeah, Doug just hit on a few of them, but what what would you say, Tyler's your your lasting memory of competing in the Walker Cup going to be? Winning the event. Um, it was it was so cool just kind of finishing the round and being able to hug all the teammates and just commemorate such a great week with uh, great players and just the opportunity to represent your country and actually win the Walker Cups. That's the most important part of the week, and I'm always going to be able to say I was on a winning Walker Cup team. Any, uh, any story you can share from the celebration afterwards? Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we had a few drinks, but... I I was struggling. I went to bed pretty soon. Um, a lot. It was just a long week. Everyone was had nothing left in them, so we all kind of went to bed before midnight. Given what you went through, how close were you from deciding that maybe you needed to wait another week and, and withdrawing? From um. I mean, I. It's my job now. I I'm I've been looking forward for this moment for the last since I won the AM. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna miss this. I wish I would have been in a little better physical shape, but at the same time, I phys physically I feel better now. Um, and it's just all about shooting a low score. So it's it's all out in front of me. And uh, can you share a little more of the upcoming schedule? What, what it looks like? Yeah. So I have this week. I take a week off and I go to Colonial, uh, and then I go straight to Memorial, and then a week off, and then play the U.S. Open. And it's one of those things that if I play well, I'll hopefully get some more opportunities. If I don't, I um, just kind of want to qualify and kind of try to get on that way. So it's it's all out in front of me if I play well, and it's a great opportunity. What's the best piece of advice you've been given about turning pro and, and what you need to do? Just play to my standards. Um, don't don't get ahead of yourself. If I if I play like myself, I'll be just fine. Um, and the quicker I can start doing that, the better. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Hey, Tyler, just one or two more quick questions for me. Just um, along the same lines of what Adam was asking, what, what part of your game, or as far as your confidence level goes, what are you most confident with uh, with your game right now? Yeah, I feel like I'm. my driving and irons are starting to come around. I struggled with that early on in the season. Um, just me and Todd Anderson we're, are starting to work on some real good stuff, and I'm really excited about it. So that's that's definitely on the upswing. I I almost positive it's going to start clicking this week. Um, but I would say my short game and wedge wedge games really really in a spot where I feel like I can be competitive no matter how I hit it. Okay, good. And then really, just last question is just who are some of the guys out here 
uh, on tour that you that you kind of pick their brains uh, that you you trust and you like and appreciate the uh, the input and help you've gotten from some of the tour guys? Yeah, I've really appreciated. Uh, Billy Horschel's been very instrumental and in probably the, since I started playing in tour events. Um, he's just a great guy, great role model. Couldn't ask for a better person to have by my side during all this. Um, Roberto Castro is another one, just being with the tech connection. Stuart Sink's been really good. I've played some practice rounds with him, and Matt Kuchar's been really nice too. So we've, I've kind of gotten a nice group of guys where I can kind of lean on for some advice, and I'm very thankful for that. Hey, Doug, I got one more. Sure. Uh, with your grandfather's connection to the past, do you have a – a story you know anything about Byron Nelson through your grandfather or, or Ben Hogan yeah I mean he's he's played with all those guys back when he was uh in Miami at Doral kind of running that tournament so he's haven't really heard I mean my dad's told me stories about um just what a great human being Byron Nelson was from what uh my grandfather told him um and he kind of told my father that he's just someone someone to model your life after, someone you model how you treat your family, how you treat other people. Um, so he's, it's definitely just, it's a complete honor to be here um, as a sponsor exemption at the Byron Nelson, so I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. How many, what's the difference in the loopholes in your belt with uh, losing 20 pounds? Oof. I, I think it's two. Yeah, it's a, uh, it was a tough one. I checked I was kind of worried to see what how much weight I'd lost. I went in the locker room yesterday, and I gained a lot of weight back after Augusta. Um, I was back up to 175, and I'd been working out pretty hard. And I checked yesterday, and I was I was 160 with shoes on. Um, so I'd lost close to 20. I mean, probably 17 or 18 pounds. So it's it's going to be eating a lot on the course, and just just keeping a level head and getting through four rounds. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Tyler. Well, that's all we got for you. We really appreciate your time. We certainly wish you all the best of luck this week, and we'll look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you so much.